friends welcome to this video on heron's formula in the previous video we learned about heron's formula in this session we will solve some more questions based on it so let's start with this question find the area of the given figures look at the first figure carefully this is an equilateral triangle and the length of all its sides is a here we are not given any information about the height we know that when we are given the length of all the sides of a triangle then to find its area we can use the heron's formula so let's start can you tell what will be the value of a b and c here all the three sides of the triangle are equal so the value of all the three will be a now the formula will be like this square root s within bracket s minus a within brackets s minus a within brackets s minus a which will be equal to square root s within brackets s minus a raised to the power of 3 now we will determine the value of semi perimeter that is s semi perimeter will be equal to a plus b plus c divided by 2 which will be equal to a plus a plus a divided by 2 or we can say 3a upon 2 we have obtained the value of s now we will find the value of s minus a within brackets and put it in the formula s minus a is equal to a upon 2 substituting in the formula we will get within square root 3a divided by 2 multiplied by a divided by 2 raised to the power of 3 we can also write it in fractional form as follows which will be this expression is the formula for the area of an equilateral triangle in the second figure also, we are given an equilateral triangle and the length of all its sides is 6 cm. To find its area, we can use this formula for the area of an equilateral triangle. In this way, we get the area as 9 square root 3 square centimeters. Now let's move to the next triangle. This is a right angle triangle whose hypotenuse is 10 cm and one side is 8 cm. You can find the length of the third side using the Pythagoras theorem. We will get x, y equal to 6 cm. Now we know the length of all the three sides of the triangle. To find the area, we can use any of the two formulas given here. Let's use this formula. xy is perpendicular to yz. Between xy and yz, let's assume any one as the base and the other as the height. We will get the area as 24 square centimeters. If you solve it using Heron's formula, then also you will get the same answer. We can see that if we know the length of all the three sides as well as the height as in the case of right angle triangle then using the first formula we get the area quickly now let's move to the next triangle this is an isosceles triangle the length of whose base QR is 8 cm and the length of sides PQ and RP is 5 cm respectively Let's find its area using the Heron's formula. We will take the length of A, B and C as 8 cm, 5 cm and 5 cm respectively. Then we will find the semi-perimeter which will be 9 cm. Now we will find the value of S minus A, S minus B and S minus C within brackets. We keep this value in Heron's formula and find the area of the triangle. 
we can write 3 multiplied by 3 in place of 9. In this way, this will become within square root, that is, 3 multiplied by 4 within square root 1. The value of 1 within square root is 1. Thus, we will get the area of this triangle as 12 square centimeters. Can you find the area of this isosceles triangle using any other method? You can discuss it with your friends. With this, our video comes to an end, where we solve some questions based on Heron's formula. See you in the next video with some more questions based on this. Thank you.